guys today I'm going to teach you about how to determine and predict hybridization of each atom in any molecule particularly we will discuss in this video lecture how we can predict hybridization of each atom in vitamin C and I will give you so many tips and tricks which you can apply to any molecule of chemistry whether it is inorganic or organic in nature doesn't matter so let's first discuss the three basic types of hybridization and there are several other types of hybridization in inorganic in chemistry also I will not go and discuss those ones one is sp3 number two is sp2 and three is sp we will discuss just three three hybridizations not like D or F orbital involvement just S and P so S P 3 is a hybridization which is tetrahedral in shape S P 2 is triangular and S P is linear so if I can show you with the help of orbitals so this is how SP2 uh, one more uh, we need a one more orbital so like it's x axis y axis and z axis that's why we call them these hybridization you know you need a third one as well to make them three orbitals so if I push it oh, okay I can't fit there but yeah so sp3 means you will have one s and three p orbitals so px py and pz sp3 means one s orbital which is spherical in shape and three P orbitals that is PX, PY, and PZ. Same goes for SP2, 1S, and 2P orbitals. SP, 1S, and 1P. So, why hybridization is important? Because it gives you information to predict the acidic nature or basic nature of any compound, and it also gives you information whether this compound contains any unsituation means any double bond cyclic or ring or what so sp3 means no double bond always single bond always single bond sp2 means double bond sp means triple bond so not like triple bond is not called sp double bond is not called sp2 but we are saying that whenever we have a single bond then means like for example let's start with a simple molecule in organic chemistry that is methane so this is carbon we will put here c c for carbon now four hydrogens right so four hydrogens that is CH4 methane natural gas natural part of a natural gas and you choose domestically this is methane so it's also first member first member of alkane family so if you are asked in an exam what is hybridization of this carbon so what you need to remember the rule of hybridization is simple I will give you only one rule that is count number of bonds plus unpaired not involved in localization equal
equals to hybridization. Now I will come back to delocalization and localization. So we will say just resonance or but you you should be confine yourself to this point. We will discuss the second part later. Count number of points and unpaired electrons in order to predict the hybridization of any molecule. So if we discuss about the simplest molecule methane, so this is carbon. Now count the number of bonds 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it has 4 bonds so far. Sake of clarity I am putting the numbers on the bonds. So this is number 1 and this is number 2, this is number 3. Don't count hydrogen by the way. You should focus on the number of bonds. So a single line means single bond, double line means double bond and triple line means triple bond. So there are four bonds and from the periodic table we know that carbon can make four bonds and it has also made four bonds so it means there are no unpaired electrons available for this carbon. So we should only focus on counting number of bonds if there are no unpaired electrons. So if the answer is four then we will write sp3 so the hybridization of this carbon will be sp3 simple as that similarly if I give you an other example of another molecule say this is ethyl alcohol or ethanol and if I ask you what is hybridization of this carbon and what is hybridization of this carbon so you need to remember that you are going to count number of bonds so if in ethanol you have three hydrogens and two hydrogens and CH2 and three hydrogens and OH group OH group indicates alcohol so this is ethanol so if you are asked to predict hybridization of this carbon or this carbon you count the number of points 1 2 3 uh, for this carbon and number 4 so this carbon is sp3 sp3 and the next carbon will also be sp3 i can show you but this carbon has made one bond to oh one bond to hydrogen one bond to carbon and one bond to this hydrogen so again this also has hybridization sp3 and also you can find hybridization for this oxygen atom as well if i remove this or if i push the hydrogen further in order to show you so hard oxygen is a member of the uh, periodic table and it has six valence electrons so two it has made for use two electron oxygen is used by making bond with carbon and hydrogen on each side and two electron in oxygen are freely available so follow this rule count number of bonds plus unpaired electrons so in single bonds you can't have resonance so we will co count them as bonds so one unpaired electron two three and four so there are total four two bond pairs two bond pairs and two lone pairs means total four equals to four and that is sp3 in both in this case so if you have two bond pairs and two lone pairs the hybridization will be sp3 make sure be careful with the resonance you know we will come into the later part of this video where i will describe about resonance now you can simply say alkanes have sp3 hybridizations any member of alkane should it be methane ethane propane whatever so for example this is ethane 
two carbons so this is propane uh, this is butane so all of the carbons one two three four are sp3 hybridized in alkanes all right i hope you got my point now another interesting molecule which has sp3 hybridizing what is which is water h2o yes if you are being asked what is hybridization of water what is hybridization of oxygen in water so again you remember that ox oxygen has made two bonds with two hydrogens so it has four unpaired electrons which means two lone pairs so we will count both bond pairs and lone pairs two bond pairs and two lone pairs so the hybridization of oxygen in water is sp3 how about ammonia nh3 what is hybridization of nitrogen in ammonia now you can see here again nitrogen in ammonia has made three bonds with three hydrogens one two and three and it also has one lone pair so that we should count we will count all of the bond pairs and lone pair in this case we have only one lone pair unlike oxygen where we have two so total four sum of bond pairs and sum of lone pair becomes four and the hybridization will become sp3 in ammonia so you can apply this concept to any complex molecule you just count the number of bonds and unpaired electrons like it should be a pair you can't say there are two electrons so you can't say one two three and five so no unpaired electron means should be a pair no not a single electron should be a pair okay so i hope you got the concept about sp3 hybridization i will erase this one now and then i will show you the uh, in second part i will show you the hybridization of alkenes and we will at the end we will go to the vitamin c so alkenes have sp2 hybridization and benzenes also have sp2 hybridization benzene sp2 right now let me explain why alkenes have sp2 so alkenes are a member of organic compounds which contains two lines means two double uh, that is double bond which say in chemistry and this is simplest alkene that is ethene i will put four hydrogens here right so alkene starts from ethene and goes up to 100 or whatever you start in nomenclature right so this has two carbons a and b carbon so let's first discuss this carbon so if you are asked what will be the hybridization of this particular carbon what you have to do again you have to follow this rule count number of bonds and unpaired electrons so this carbon has made four bonds one on this hydrogen two on this hydrogen and two with this carbon so total it has made three bonds you can't say it has made four bonds this double bond is a type of bond these are not two bonds we will count this double bond as a one type of bond so one bond second bond with hydrogen and third bond with this hydrogen. so total bonds which this carbon has made are three so there's a confusion people say that double bond means two bonds but double bond is a type of a bond so we will count it as one so one bond two and three so this carbon has hybridization sp2 is the resultant of count number of bonds and unpaired electrons is three then it is sp2 if resultant is four it is sp3 if resultant is two it is sp 
similarly you have to find the hybridization of this carbon you can easily predict so one two and three three bonds so sp2 for this carbon as well okay so you can apply this concept to any molecule which contains carbon having double bonded like it could be carbon oxygen like in aldehydes how about this was alkenes how about how about we do aldehydes what is hybridization in aldehydes okay let's draw the structure of aldehyde first this is aldehyde sorry this video will be a little bit longer than my previous videos in this channel but this is really really helpful for students who wants to quickly predict hybridization of atoms in any molecule so say this is carbon now if you are asked what is hybridization of this carbon now this is not alkene okay but it has very similar characteristic that is double bond so this carbon has made double bond with oxygen we will count as one second bond with hydrogen and third bond with this R and this R could be anything so this is the basic structure of aldehyde so we counted that this carbon has made three bond types so we will type sp2 for this carbon how about this oxygen so if we put lone pairs here so we will count lone pairs one two and this term three so oxygen also has two lone pairs and one bond pair so it will also become sp2 hybridized oxygen so you can't just apply hybridization to carbon only you can apply hybridization or you can find out predict hybridization of any atom in any molecule say it is oxygen nitrogen or whatever how about ketones how about ketones so let me draw the basic structure of ketones which is quite similar to the aldehyde but the only difference between aldehyde and ketone is that you are going to replace one of the hydrogen with the R and in additionally so this is the difference between aldehyde and ketone but again there is a similarity that is carbonyl compounds aldehyde and ketones are carbonyl what I mean by carbonyl is carbonyl compounds are those compounds which contain carbon doubly bonded with the oxygen atom. So again the hybridization of this carbon will be uh, sp2 and hybridization of this oxygen will be sp2 because this carbon similar to the aldehyde one has made three bonds similar to the aldehyde one this oxygen has two lone pairs and this one. How about how about carpo oxalic acid again carbo oxalic acid is carbonyl group similar to aldehyde and ketone but this is OH which will not affect anything to the hybridization of this carbon again this will be sp2 again this oxygen will be sp2 so that's it and you can apply this to all the others so this will be sp2 this carbon will be sp2 how about the ester again ester will be same amides will be same okay let's discuss the benzene now how about benzene and also hybridization determination of hybridizing helps you to predict aromaticity of compounds so it's one of the condition whether the compound is aromatic or not it should have all the carbons sp2 hybridized so benzene has six carbons we each carbon is sp2 hybridized let's i will show you because these are all same benzene is a symmetrical structure and there is one hydrogen on every carbon attached with this so if i write this structure was first was this I can draw so it's understood there is one hydrogen on each carbon so c6h6 is the formula of benzene and every carbon is doubly bonded so 
uh, we'll see if this is true or not. Uh, it's really a difficult period. I think if you remember the rule, count the number of bonds and non pairs, you can easily find out. How about this carbon? This carbon has made two bond, a double bond with this carbon, so that will be counted as one. Another bond with this carbon. This is second bond and the third bond with this hydrogen. So this is gonna have sp2 hybridization. And now if you apply this to this carbon, one with two with this carbon, one with this hydrogen, and one with this sp2. Same to this, two with this carbon, one with this carbon, third one with this hydrogen sp2. So each carbon in this benzene has sp2 hybridization remember this so that's why this compound is aromatic and that's why finding the hybridization is important you can predict the nature of hybridization and then you can tell the acidity and aromaticity of the compound so this was about sp2 and we will briefly discuss the sp3 and then i will show you the hybridization of vitamin c I have watched uh, one video on the YouTube which has predicted hybridization of vitamin C. I warned you guys that video is wrong. I will show you in a moment because these oxygens do not have sp3 hybridization. These have sp2. I will show you in a moment why I am saying this. But there is a mistake in that video. You can check with your chemistry tutor or refer to your books that the oxygen have sp2 hybridization and there is a mistake in that video with due respect to that guy okay in, let's not detract from our topic now we are going to discuss about sp hybridization there is alkynes now alkynes have sp hybridization that's it what i mean by this is so alkynes are organic compound which contain triple bond and this is the first simplest member of alkyne family is acetylene. Acetylene, acetylene, right? So acetylene, some say acetylene, some say acetylene. And I can consider pronunciation as a major factor when explaining chemistry to people. You should focus on your chemistry, not on your pronunciation or whatever you know, words. The chemistry. Okay, so there are two carbons in this compound and they are triple bonded. Again, you will have to find follow this rule count number of bonds and compare electrons. Carbon can make four bonds, so it has this carbon has made three bonds with this carbon and one bond with this hydrogen. So total four bonds I agree, but you cannot write SP3 because triple bond is a type of bond. So we will consider it as one bond. And this, this single bond is a type of bond which is this carbon has made of carbon. The hybridization is the SP, same goes for this carbon, the SP hybridization. So in all times, each carbon is the SP hybridized. And you can follow the complex examples of all times and predict the hybridization of any other kind of compound, any triple bond company compound. Following this simple video or about dealing with the hybridization of alkynes, alkynes of alkynes, and you can extend this concept to any compound in the organic chemistry. So then let's talk about this interesting material that I'm going to do that we have to come and see. Now what I'm going to do is to predict hybridization with each compound. As I showed you in the previous video, in this video, previously that this this carbon is a ketone of carbon or an aldehyde. So, so in the previous video, I have previous numbers I should discuss that this carbon or ketone carbon has has made two bonds. It's it's gonna have
This is a mistake which is in the previous video of 
a youtuber someone made and called this oxygen is sp3 no because this oxygen i agree this oxygen has made two bonds one with hydrogen one with carbon but and also has two free lone pairs so you can write sp3 but no we cannot write sp3 for this oxygen guys this is a point you need to learn this is a different point which i'm making than the previous youtuber and you can check with your tutor and books that this oxygen is not sp3 hybridized but it's a sp2 hybridized because this lone pair is busy in delocalization or has an ability to like put the electrons in this carbon and this way it can do the resonance delocalization so we will write sp2 we can't write sp3 here you know because this nitrogen this lone pair is busy in delocalization that's why we can say this is kind of a bond you know not a free pair not an unpaired electrons they they can be potentially paired and similar to this this also has the same characteristic of resonance means involvement of this one pair this goes here makes double bond there then this double bond shifts there and then this shifts there so it's again sp2 hybridized oxygen so this is the difference which i was telling you in the start of the video that a video is available on youtube to predict hybridization of vitamin c but that guy says this hybridization of this oxygen is sp i'm not fighting with him but i'm just telling you that this is correct you can double check also with books and tutors if you want to but with due respect to that person this is the right the hybridization of this oxygen is not sp3 but sp2 Similarly, the hybridized and this oxygen is not sp3 but sp2. Okay, so again, let's find out the hybridization of this carbon now, which these two are remaining. So easy, this carbon has no double bond, no triple bond. So this is making bond with oxygen, with this carbon, and two hydrogens. So this is sp3, and this is also sp3. No double bond, no triple bond, no unpaired electrons. So sp3, sp3. I hope you liked my video and this is the hybridization of each atom in vitamin C, correct hybridization of each atom in this. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please do so and if you haven't subscribed this channel, please subscribe, like and share with your friends. Thank you guys.